Josh is a first-time caller out of Florida. Josh, get it off your chest, sir. Yes, sir. Hi, Mr. Peterson. Uh, yeah, I'm a little nervous. You have to forgive me for that. No, um, relax, buddy. Uh, well, I'd like to start off by saying thank you for your approach on uh, anger. That it really kind of uh, changed my perspective a lot. <clears throat> right on. I just wanted to say, I'm sorry? I said right on. You're welcome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, and love, I, I kind of come to the similar conclusions on my own, but <clears throat> anger definitely is the uh, is the foundational opposite of love. Yes. And and, and I, I just appreciate you uh, uh, making me realize that. But anyway, right on. Uh, the question I had is, um, I was wondering if you could give me um, examples out of the Bible. Uh, specifically, the New Testament, if possible, where um, <clears throat> where marriage is is a uh, requirement, so to so to say, that might not be the right word, but <clears throat> or at least what God wants us to do, like marriage in the in the sense of like uh, legal marriage, you know, <clears throat> marriage recognized by the state or whatever. Uh, it, can you give me examples of why that is what God wants, as opposed to just two people? living together with, with commitment? Uh, number one, good question, by the way, man. Uh, number one, God created man, and then from man he created woman. Then he married them, and he told them, y'all go have some sex and make some babies. And if he had thought, didn't want that done in that way, he would not have married them. When you get married and make babies, your whole family is under or under the umbrella of God. And so when things get rough, because people don't always get along, you know, you got to have different, different agreements of agreements on things. At least you have God, especially the man, you have God to help you to overcome it because that man is representing God. You're his son. And so you're trusting your father and your wife is going to see the father in you, and the, the kids will see it. And so you have a chance of having a marriage that will last until death do you part. And, and then by your kids seeing that light in you, they're going to be even better when they grow up and start their families. It just get better and better and better. And you allow God to create love through you, to your wife, to your children, right? And God is love. But if you do it without getting married, you're getting married in hell. Satan is your daddy. There is no love. And you're just going to catch hell in the marriage. You and your kids, even your wife. It's just going to be a hell marriage that might not last at all. And if it does, you're going to be worn out by the time it's over, right? And as far as the state uh, requiring a license, that's just another way for them to take your money. But as children of God, as sons of God, we should get Caesar what Caesar is due. So if he wants you to pay him to get married, you just pay him. But the most important thing is to do it under the umbrella of God. Then you will, you will be willing to obey the law of the land. Yes, sir. I actually agree with everything you just said. Um, but uh, I, I'm just curious if there's any... Uh, specific like sources out of the Bible that I can go and read. Read Genesis. Uh, read Gen the, if you read the entire book of Genesis, you will see whole life there, why everything happened and what it takes to overcome it. You, you said the book of, uh, what was that, Genesis? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Read that okay. book and you will, you will see what life is all about. Okay. All right. Thank you, Josh. Yes, really good questions, man. Are you married, okay. Josh? Uh, no, been with the same girl for eight years. Hey, you have kids <laughs> with her? Uh, she has two kids. Uh, we don't have any kids together. Yeah. Why? How old are you? Uh, thirty-four. Why are you with a woman who already has children? Um, you know, back then I hadn't. I wasn't thinking in the same way as I am now. Uh, she's a very attractive Puerto Rican, beautiful woman, and that's all I was concerned with back then when I met her. So, the sex, yeah. And and uh, she's a beautiful girl. Uh, I mean, a beautiful person, and that's why I've stayed with her. And, why don't you dump her and go seek first the kingdom of God his right way, and if you want a family, start fresh. 
with a woman that has not been married, does not have children, you and your wife have your own kids. And that way you don't, you don't stand in the way of this woman's children and they have a chance to receive them, you know, have the mother's love without you being there or encourage this woman to let those kids be with their fathers or know the fathers. Why don't you do it the right way? I understand why you got in this situation, but since you don't have children and you're not married to her, why not do it right? Um, you know, you're right, and that's a hard pill to swallow, to, to think about it <laughs> in that way. <laughs> your, your, your ego doesn't want you to do it right. It wants you to suffer. That's why I was trying to keep you there. So you can suffer, the ladies can suffer, and the kids are going to suffer. Yeah, you know, when I think about it like that, what I think of is, well, is their father going to do what's right? And that's not your concern. That's not your concern. You can't think that way when you're doing wrong. Those are not those are not your kids. They're not your responsibility. And you need to leave that alone for the women the woman and the father. Okay. So uh being with her and, and her kids and trying to raise them, you don't think that falls under uh love as far as trying to help them? No, that's fall. That falls under lust. Because if she wasn't a beautiful, fine woman, you wouldn't even be with her, no matter how many kids she had. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. So don't fool yourself. Yeah. Don't let Satan deceive you. Yeah. I recommend well, you leave that woman and her children alone and let her suffer through whatever she got to suffer through because you didn't tell her to make a baby to a man. Right. Right. But you've been very selfish by being in the way. Yes, everything you say makes sense. And uh, I wasn't expecting to hear this <laughs> when I called. But uh, Because in all true. honesty, you didn't, marry, you didn't get with that woman because of her children. You got with that woman because you wanted to have sex with a fine, beautiful Latina woman. Right, right, right. So be honest about it, all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, yes, sir, I'll, I'll think. And those very, kids are never going to accept you as their father. Their soul will not accept you as their father. So they're going to always. Be, you, I'm sorry? Repeat that, please. Those kids that, are please? never going to accept you as their father. Yeah, well, definitely the daughter. I can agree with you on that. Yeah. <laughs> none of them. They, their soul yearns for their natural father, not you. And if you see that the daughter is already rejecting you, why put her. Do that. That girl, the daughter doesn't deserve that. Right. You know, but I think about it. In in the future, if if those kids suffered from not having a father figure, I I would feel very guilty about not trying to help with that. But I, you I can't know, help. That's right. not. They're never going to accept you. You're in the way. You shouldn't even feel guilty. You should feel guilty if you stay in the way. Right. Yeah. I should have thought about this before I. Loved her and her kids. <laughs> but you don't love her. You lust her. Once you stop having sex with her, you show, you see that you don't love her nor the kids. Because if you love them, you would get out of their way. You do the right thing. Well, would you would you say it, it's lust? Well, I mean, could it be just ignorance and not lust? Because I feel I do love them genuinely. Well, if you love uh, them, you would get out of their way. Right. Yeah. You would stop pretending to be their daddy, and you're not when you're really there screwing their mother. Mm. Man, I hope she ain't listening. <laughs> <laughs> and that so-called love that you feel is not real love. That comes from the sex. You're in a fallen state. You are the drug addict, and she's the drug de de You are the sex addict, and she's the sex dealer. So you don't think it's uh, possible for a, a, um, a, a woman or a man who had kids prior, you don't think uh, that's a, the way it should, or you don't think it's possible that they can meet someone else uh, and have a loving, purposeful relationship? They can meet, but they won't have a real love. They have a false love. Think about it, Josh. Are you doing my silent prayer? I'm sorry? Are you doing my silent prayer dot video? I have not. 
Do it. Right. You'll see right. clearly, and you, you'll be able to do what's right. Well, let me write that down. What is it again? Silent prayer dot Silent prayer. dot video. It's on my YouTube channel. Okay. Call me again, okay. buddy. Yes, sir. I will. Thank uh, you. All right. Do the right thing. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll, uh, I can definitely tell. Think about it. I can. I can promise you that. <laughs> all right. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, right. You're welcome. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson radio show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it. 